right, what's going on guys? Had some shrimp lift over from my last trip. So today we are back at the Boca Raton Inlet. Uh, the spot that I normally fish have some people in them, so I'm gonna fish a little bit more inland up the inlet. And we'll see what we can catch over here. First time here, but I'm sure it's gonna be very similar to all the other times I fished in the inlet. So we should get a pretty good variety of fish and hopefully we can get a new addition to the life list. So let's give it a shot. So there is the little bit of shrimp on a size 8 hook, about 8, 10 inches above the uh, little 1 ounce sinker. It is very windy today, tide is going out right now. Let's just drop this straight down here and see what we can pick up to start. First drop, we got our first fish. Alright, so our first drop produced uh, fish number 1 of the day. A uh, little juvenile mangrove snapper. So we'll, we'll toss it back and we'll see what else is out there. Fish number two on drop number two. Alrighty, second drop produced our second fish and second species a sergeant major damselfish always tons of these guys around here Let's see what we got this time cast that a little bit farther what is this thing All right, so it's a slippery d ras In my experience, when you cast out farther here, these guys are the most common. Close to shore, the sergeant majors are the most common. Both super annoying, but these guys are definitely the most annoying to handle. Got him. Let's see what we got this time. Is that another one? That's just a bigger slippery d -ras. Yeah, so this is a good sized fish and it is a beautiful fish. Just super slimy, super slippery, and super spiny up on the dorsal fin, especially so hard to get the hook out. But beautiful fish. I just really hope we don't catch any more of these. Yeah, so smallest of the three, but our third slippery d ras in a row. So let's get this guy back. I don't know if I want to just keep casting out far and catching these guys, so I might start dropping closer shore again. Got him. What is this? All right, so this is a sailor's choice grunt, another super, super common fish. Catch them a lot here and catch them a lot everywhere. Let's see what we got. Got some weight behind it. What is this thing? Oh, it's a white grunt. Yeah, so I can see most of the fish close to shore and they're all boring sergeant majors and whatnot So I'm gonna keep casting a little bit farther Hope the uh, the wrasses stay away and this is it's an okay catch new species for the day So 
it probably doesn't come out well on camera, but straight down, especially when the sun's out, you can see all the way to the bottom. Water's pretty clear. It's all mainly sergeant majors, a couple sailor's choice grunts, and once in a while a mangrove snapper. So nothing really exciting. So I'm gonna keep kind of just casting this a little bit farther out there, and hopefully we can get something cool over there. Let's see what this is. Oh, whoa. That's the fish I was also trying to stay away from, another sergeant major. Yeah, so these guys love rocks and structures, usually a lot of them close to shore. Farther out there where there's less rocks and most sand, usually there's less of these guys, but even though it's less, it's never zero. That's a rock. broken off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and retie, and I think I'm gonna try to find a new spot. All righty, so I moved a little bit further uh, down the inlet toward the mouth. We'll fish over here for a little bit and hopefully we can get something besides those slippery D's and sergeant majors. Let's see what our first fish over here will be. It feels like a small one. Oh, it is a sergeant major. Yeah, so I still remember the first sergeant major I caught a couple of years ago how excited I was to catch it and how long it took me to catch it. But ever since then, I have not been able to get away from these guys. fish on this? Oh, it's a little guy. What is it? All right, so it's some sort of a damsel fish, but it's not a sergeant major, so I will take it. Either a long fin or I think a Bo Gregory. I used to think these guys were cocos, but the cocos have a dark dot there on the tail, which this one doesn't. So I think it's either a long fin or a Bo Gregory, but IDing these guys is usually pretty difficult, at least for me. So this guy's got a little bit of a different coloration, but I do believe it's still the same species as all the earlier ones. Uh, just the juveniles have that really, really uh, thick, dark line, and this guy's probably transitioning from his juvenile to his adult coloration. another ass. Yeah, so so far it's been a very average day here at the Boca Raton Inlet. A lot of, a lot of uh, slipper D wrasses out farther uh, from shore and then close to shore. A lot of sergeant majors. This is, but that's a nice fish. As 
while he doesn't pull under a rock, I got a shot at him. Okay. Come on now. What? Oh no! He broke me off. He cut my line. I don't know what that was. That is a huge disappointment. And I think on that disappointment, I am going to call it a day. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it. Super, super disappointing uh, finish, and really a somewhat disappointing day. A lot of repeats, a lot of boring species. I didn't even get a chance to see what the last fish was. I mean, if I had a guess, based on how I hooked it, where I hooked it, and how it broke me off. I think it was probably some sort of larger species of parrotfish, uh, just because there are a lot of them here. I saw some, I believe, rainbow parrotfish over in this spot earlier today. Not exactly sure on, on that, but there is some larger parrotfish here, and they've got some nice teeth on their, their beaks. So it didn't necessarily, I don't think they necessarily like broke my line because the entire rig was still intact except for where that hook was. So I think the, the beak probably just kind of uh, filed down on that line by the hook until it just finally gave way. But super, super disappointing because I don't know what it was. And if it was a new species, that's even more disappointing. But I guess we'll never know. So not, not a great way to end it, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So yeah, hope you guys liked it anyway, and I will see you next time.